What is going on you guys? It's Zach here from premiumbeat.com. Today we're gonna be talking about how to enhance your visuals utilizing vignettes. If you've seen basically any movie, they use vignettes all the time. And essentially vignettes are a great tool to enhance your image and direct your audience's eyes into something part of the frame. Now there's a couple different vignettes that you can do. You can do the simple vignette, which is like the circle one. You can do a shaped vignette, which is a little bit more direct. Or you can do like a matte vignette, which would be something like this. Now each one is used to enhance your visuals so that your audience's eyes aren't like all over the place and scattered looking for certain things. So for instance, this like circle vignette, I would use for maybe more wide shots. So basically this is kind of the standard one and it's just so that your audience's eyes aren't focusing on what's on the edges and they're looking more into the center. The second vignette is the shape vignette. Now this one is actually used all the time. And on bigger budget productions, what they'll utilize is a tracking software, which will then track the mat so the audience's eyes is directed to possibly a character in the frame or some sort of object and again it all is subliminal if your vignette is noticeable or visible then it almost detracts away from it it can look cheesy it can almost look like there's an error with on the lens or maybe like your eyes are half closed so you want it to be as natural as possible and not obvious so aside from the standard vignette and shape vignettes, the final one is a matte vignette. Now I use this basically all the time for any sort of interviews or these videos. And essentially what it is, is shadowing the back and making myself punch out. The nice thing is we can do all of these vignettes in Premiere Pro. So open up your editing software of choice and let's start playing around with it. So the first vignette, the simple one, the circle one is very easy to do. Essentially go into your effects panel, go into your vignette settings, take your pin and slide it all the way to the left. And that's gonna create this nice circle of shadow around. You can play around with the feathering, but I basically always have like just a nice crispy vignette around the edges. And this is one that's not super obvious and doesn't pop out too much. When you shoot stuff in like highlights and whatnot, that's when it becomes a little bit more visible, so keep an eye out for that, especially with lots of camera movement. With static coverage, it's usually fine. The next mat is a shaped mat, and essentially what you wanna do is create a new black video layer, drag and drop it over top of your shot, then go into your opacity in your effects panel and create a shape, and I'm gonna be doing a circle here. Once you have a circle, press invert. That's gonna create like a nice like Bugs Bunny Looney Tune effect here. Then we want to feather the crap out of it, play around with the scale, and then play around with the opacity. Boom, and then you can just adjust the shape uh, that way as well. So maybe you want your circle to be a little bit smaller or larger, that's how you can do it. And then the final one is the probably one of the more complicated ones, but I think it's definitely the most effective, especially for interviews, is the matted vignette. Go into your effects panel, type in brightness contrast, drag and drop that over top of your shot, take your brightness right down, take your contrast down a tiny bit, that way so it doesn't look too punchy, then create a mask and creating a mask around your character. Bop, 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 bop. Now that we have our mask created, press invert. I'm gonna feather the crap out of the edges, play around with the opacity, and now we have something that looks like this. So there's a bunch of different ways you can do vignettes and each one is appropriate for their own different shots. So for something more like a wide city shot, I would use just the simple vignette. For something like a moving character in the frame, I would potentially use the shaped vignette. And if I just did like a sitting interview, I would do something like the matte vignette. Now, vignettes are really fun. I highly recommend you guys trying them out for your footage because you can really enhance your shot very easily in post-production by utilizing them. Okay, and that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this tutorial and want to take a look at more, I highly recommend taking a look at the Premium Beat YouTube page. There's a lot of really great tips and tutorials. Um, I've learned so much from it. I'm sure you guys can too. Um, and yeah, until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.